This is the Casio EX FS10, a high-speed video camera. This should give us real high-quality slow-motion video. We just did a full review of it. In this video, I wanted to post some clips straight from the camera in a higher quality so you can see just what the camera can do. Uh, this is shooting a taser at 1,000 frames per second. You can see the barb shooting out and the wires uncoiling. We also did a bunch of tests lighting a match. Most people, I figure, are familiar with how long it takes for a flame to uh, ignite on the end of a match as you light it. Since we're taking 1,000 images per second, we're able to slow down time and capture a lot of this hidden dance that the flame does that we just don't perceive at normal speeds. Uh, this is under studio lighting, so four or five incandescent fluorescent bulbs about a foot away. Um, does a pretty good job. It's, it's pretty grainy, but I suspect under full sunlight we're going to get even better results. We did some low light testing last night and got pretty poor results. So I think that under the high speed settings here, the more light the better. We did a couple of tests here striking matches at this thousand frames per second. Um, it does put it in a long rectangle shape, but I think for the things that we're going to be using this for, that won't be a problem. Uh, it comes out as a pretty long video. You start the camera, you light the match, you turn the camera off. We're talking a second or two of video, but when you pull that from the camera and put it into an editor, it's a couple of minutes worth of video because there's so many images taking place. So you end up cropping a lot of the beginning off and a lot of the end off, and you're left with just a small video clip that's very manageable. It comes out in an AVI format, and I think that'll work with pretty much most video editors. Uh, next, we're going to go to the 420 frames per second, which will change the aspect ratio to more of a square. You also get a little bit better quality, well, quite a bit better quality. I think if you had uh, like a dog playing frisbee or kids playing or sports or something, this would probably be the setting you choose um, just for the, you know, the ability of the still getting a lot of slow motion effect, but, you know, obviously a little bit better quality and more, more to see. Now this is at 210 frames per second. You lose a lot of the slow motion aspect of it, but you gain a lot in quality. So I think that this one again might be good for outdoor type events. Next we got the 30 to 1 or the 30 to 210 setting, which I just don't understand yet. I'm still playing with the camera. The manual isn't real great. So again, I just wanted to compare the different speed settings here. You definitely get a lot of range out of this camera as well. Uh, next we're going to take it out to up the hill and shoot in the dark. And we wanted to, we were hoping to catch some muzzle flash and catch some of the brass coming out as he's shooting. It actually slowed it down so much it's sort of boring, you know. Maybe with a full auto that's shooting a little bit quicker, um, it might be a little more interesting. You know, that's what we're used to seeing on the movies and things. But um, it just didn't perform real well in darkness. This is with the um, shooter about three, four feet in front of the headlights of a truck. So it's definitely some bright light in, in real life. This guy was lit up, but the camera just wasn't able to capture a lot of it. So again, it might have been pushing the camera to its limits, but we weren't happy with that. So now we sh this is in almost full darkness. There was a light on the other video camera that we used to film, and then there was moonlight. So uh, very, very low light settings. This is definitely pushing the camera to its extreme, but it's no fun if you just do everything in perfect conditions. So anyway, we did get a couple of muzzle flashes there. Not quite what we were looking for, but we'll keep playing with the camera and perhaps we'll get it, you know, better uh, results at night. But so far we're having a lot of fun with the camera. It does seem like it's working pretty well. Hopefully this video showed uh, what it can do.